Pero Professor Guido, ibig sabihin nun, uh, ade, well, hindi ibig sabihin, kundi uh, meron pa naman tayong dalawang linggo na tayo ay under uh, MECQ. Ano po. So, ibig sabihin, uh, mukhang gaganda pa ba number? Gaganda naman siguro yung numbers. Well, uh, we're hoping uh, for that, Jovi. Ano, gusto natin talaga yan mangyari na mag-improve ng numbers. Uh, so, kumbaga, um, nung first week ng uh, ECQ, nasa 5,000 plus pang average natin. And last week, nasa 4,700 uh, almost. And uh, this past, itong latest week, mga 4,700 din yung average. So, nag-improve naman siya. So, uh, basta hindi siya tumaas, uh, that's very important. Uh, we're hoping na magkaka-decrease. Uh, tomorrow, definitely, we're hoping na it will bump down to mga six to 7,000 total cases. Uh, pero kung 8,000, it could still happen. Um, uh, Tuesdays uh, and Wednesdays usually nag-dip down. Yep. Yeah. Thursdays medyo tataas ulit. Uh, but we're hoping yung average natin will decrease and yung reproduction number hopefully by... Uh, end of this week, baka nasa low, baka mga nasa 1.05. We're hoping for that. Uh, pero yun nga, um, more of anate, parang wait and see. It. So tinitingnan natin yung effects ng MECQ. It's only been one week. Pero ang important is we have to uh, keep the messaging na andyan pa rin yung virus. Marami pa rin nagka- nahahawa. And yung mga tao, I know medyo nagiging impatient mga tao, nagka two weeks ECQ na tayo. Yeah, they're expecting masolve yung problema. Hindi masasolve yung after two weeks of ECQ. So, dapat continued vigilance pa rin. Yung pagpat, yung, lagi yung pinapaalaala, yung apat dapat, we should still continue to do that strictly because it's very important. Matas yung case loads pa rin ngayon and it's still difficult to get hospital uh, admission kung magkasakit tayo ng COVID. Yeah. 